Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some alien romance series that I absolutely adore. It's no surprise that I love alien romances on this channel. I love alien romances everywhere, okay? I love them. I will shout loud and proud about them. So I thought I would recommend to you 10 alien romance series that I absolutely love, that I would recommend to like all my alien romance lovers. And if you haven't read one of these series yet, need to get on that if you love alien romances, okay? I'm just, I'm just saying. First, obviously, top of the top that everyone should know about is Ice Planet Barbarians. These are the first three books in the series with the newer covers. I have all the old ones. People will probably recognize these more right now, honestly. Um, This is also my special edition I just got in. Like, look at how beautiful it is. It has like the ribbon, the beautiful sprayed edges, and then the back. It's so... I have to show it off. It's like, I have to, I have to show it off. So Era Books actually created this. Um, and there's a link to this book, I believe on Ruby's Instagram. Um, but it's so stinking pretty and so beautiful. I just got this in. I love it. And then I just noticed, like, there's a Sakui on the back. Love, love that. Okay. Anyway, so these are the first three books. Oh, first <laughs> three books in the series. And there are, I think, 22 if I'm not mistaken. Um, and there's even more if you count the novellas and like the honeymoon novellas and everything like that. So if you didn't know, you live under a rock when it comes to book talk, alien romance, whatever the case may be. The Ice Planet Barbarian books are very popular. They're about these group of women who crash land on this ice planet who are first abducted by evil aliens and um, the ship they're in crashes on this other planet that is covered in snow. The Women deem it not Hoth because it looks like Hoth from Star Wars that is completely covered in snow and ice, um, but they know it's not actually Hoth, so they call it not Hoth. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's about all of them finding their mates with these blue Sukui men on this planet, okay? Um, I love these books. Like, they are so fun. They are great palette cleansers. The audiobooks for these are also amazing. There are spinoff series to this series. There's two spin-off series to the series. And I just love this world. I love these characters. I love these big blue alien men who will do nothing else but please their women. Like all they wanna do is please, please their mates. And I am obsessed with them. This whole entire video could be about Ruby Dixon and all of her different alien romance series, but I'm only limiting myself to two. Okay, so I'm also gonna mention the Fireblood Dragon series. The first one being Fire in His Blood. I don't own the physical one, um, but I do own these three. I think this is numbers six, seven, and nine, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I really love these books. This one is my favorite in the series. It's called Fire in Her Eyes, and it's the only one about like a female alien dragon. Um, but I also really love Fire in His Chaos because we have um, disability representation. The heroine is an amputee. This series is interesting. It's a post-apocalyptic romance, which means that it's basically... Um, takes place as if like earth is in an apocalypse so one day a rift opened up in the sky and these dragons started flying through it and like decimating the whole world to where now there's only a few very small few human survivors and human camps on earth and they don't know that these dragons are actually aliens and they come from this other planet and they are able to shift into humanoid form. So the first book in the series, our heroine in that one, I believe her name is Sasha. She ends up getting taken from like the upper people in her camp of humans and is gonna offer her up as a sacrifice to this dragon. But then he ends up turning to a man and realizing um, that's his fated mate. But there are like language barriers galore in these books because these dragon alien creatures don't communicate with words. They communicate via their mind and it's, like these humans cannot do that. And so they're like, how do I talk to them? So they're having to learn human languages and like human culture and everything. And I really also love the post-apocalyptic setting. I love post-apocalyptic settings they are so fun, especially when you weave in like these alien, like dragon shifter creatures. These are so fun. I feel like a lot of people, if they don't love Ice Planet Barbarians, like this series is definitely more their speed, but I'm personally the one who loves both of them. So I own this whole entire series because I had to get all the original covers before they went out of print because these books got new covers and I just, I adore the original ones. I think the new ones are pretty, but I love the OG ones. Like they're, 
I think they're iconic. So I have the Horkings of Dakar series by Zoe Draven. There are uh, six books in this series. These are all six of them. The first one that I feel like is very recognizable because it's the first one is Captive of the Horde King. But I do own all the other ones. My favorite personally is, let me grab it. <laughs> Broken, the summer four. Broken by the Horde King. It's so this one's my favorite. This series is about human women becoming mates to these Dakar alien creatures. I feel like if you are new to the alien romance genre and you love fantasy romance, th this is the where to go. These books read more like fantasy romance than alien romance. These people on this planet called Dakar, they are natives to the planet. They're called the Dakari and they really remind me of the Dothraki people from Game of Thrones, barbarian-esque, um, have the same kind of like cultural differences to humans. I think Earth is either they're overpopulated or like Earth doesn't exist anymore. And so humans have settled on this planet in little camps and the Dakar tell them, okay, you can stay on our planet, but we have some rules that you have to follow. One of them is they cannot hunt their wildlife. Like they cannot kill animals. And number two is they cannot burn their land. So they can't like set fires or anything because they don't want these people to burn their land. But then the heroine of the story, who is a human from one of these camps, ends up taking the blame for something her brother did. Her brother read somewhere that if you burn your crops, the soil will become more fertile afterward and they're having a really hard time growing food. Like everyone in this camp is starving. Um, so he does that, but the fire gets out of control to where a Dakari camp that's close by ends up seeing the fire and comes to take whoever did it, you know? And so the heroine takes the blame and the hero takes one look at her and is like, this woman is going to be my queen, okay? <laughs> so you have like an obsessive, possessive man, this alien man. Um, the only difference between them and humans is like they have different colored eyes and they have gold skin and they have tails. So that's the only physical difference. But I feel like if you wanna get into the alien romance genre like this series, I feel like it's a great, gateway to that, especially if you already love fantasy books. So each book in the series is about a human woman finding their their love of their lives with these men. Number two reminds me of, the heroine kind of reminds me of Katniss Everdeen, okay? Just say that. Um, number three, the heroine has magical powers um, and so does the hero, which is really cool. Um, and then this one is my favorite and it is best friends to enemies to lovers favorite trope. Um, this one is um, capture captive on both sides. He gets captured by her people and then he captures her in retaliation. Really fun. And then this one um, is so good too. I feel like you'd also need to read these books in order because there's this overarching like villain, villainous plot line going on. Okay. And then this one, um, our hero is kind of like a bastard child and um, the heroine is a hybrid actually, which is very unheard of, like half Dakari, half human. So I love this series. I need more people to read them because they're so stinking good. Next I have the Ribs Sanctuary series by A.G. Wild. The first book is called Ribs Sanctuary. It just doesn't really have like an overall title to the series, I guess. Um, it's just called the Ribs Sanctuary series. I have read quite a few A.G. Wild books, but I do feel like this series is her best. Every book in the series is about a different couple you have um, a human heroine getting made to getting in a relationship with an alien hero. Um, so the first book in the series, Rift Sanctuary, our heroine gets kidnapped from Earth and she's not having the best life and she ends up getting bought by this weird looking alien dude. Okay, like typically what you think of when you think of an alien, right? Um, and he brings the human that he just bought for his wife. He's like, look, here's a human. And the wife is like, that is the most ugly creature I've ever seen in my entire life. Why the heck did you buy me a human? Like that is disgusting. And so the husband's like, oh, I don't know what to do with this human now. Like, what do I do with it? Like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. So he ends up leaving her in a box on Riv's doorstep. Riv is the owner to this alien animal sanctuary. And so when he opens this box and finds this human woman, he's like, what the heck am I gonna do with her? <laughs> so it's actually really fun. I love this one. The second book, So Has Protection. It's about another heroine who gets kidnapped and she ends up escaping her captors, but is lost in the jungle and has been there for like a year. And Sohut has been hired by the people who kidnapped her, not knowing that they are bad people. He has no idea. And they just tell him, oh, there's an animal loose in the jungle that we need to get back. He does not know that it's a woman in trouble and she's like a sentient being. And so he figures that out, he's like, oh crap, no. And so he's gonna try and 
help her. There's language barriers in both of these books. The third one is actually really good as well. Um, the heroine of this book ends up accidentally getting kidnapped by some other aliens and the hero already knows of her and figures it out and goes to save her. Um, like one of my favorite scenes ever in alien romance happens in here. The heroine um, is uh, claustrophobic and the hero just like helps her with her claustrophobia when she's stuck on this ship in this very tight space um and i loved that caretaking scene it was so good so i love this series a lot i think it's very slept on and more people need to read them another series that i feel like is becoming very popular is the clickanian series by um victoria aveline i own these two books these two are my favorite um and they were very kindly gifted to me by some of my friends. Jenny gifted me this one and Lana ended up gifting me this one. So thank y'all so much. Um, and I can't wait to have the whole entire series like on my shelves. Um, but this series, I feel like is also a great one to start out with. If you are not very comfortable with alien romances or you wanna get into them and you don't really know where to start, I feel like these are great books as well because our alien um, men in these books are very much like humans, like basically. This is book number one. And then this is book number, I believe four, if I'm not mistaken. Choosing Theo starts out with our heroine named Jade. She and a bunch of other human women all have books in the series, not all of them yet, but you know what I mean? They have books in the series, right? Um, they end up getting kidnapped from earth and Jade and a few other women end up escaping. And on this planet, females are a rare commodity. There are way more men than there are women on this planet. And because of that, they constantly have to be married and um, produce offspring. Um, they can choose to produce offspring or not, but the main criteria is like, you have to be married. Um, and so they don't really know what to do with Jade at first and the other woman. And so they tell them like, I guess you're going to have to follow our rules. So you got to get married. And so Jade, um, goes to the ceremony where women end up picking men that kind of go up and down a runway essentially and she picks Theo who has never been chosen before there's kind of like this big hubbub about it like why would she choose him and Theo is very confused as to why she did as well he is adamant that Jade is choosing him for ul ulterior reasons because he's never been chosen before because he has scars all over his body that kind of look like tattoos um his people actually really like revere perfection and he was in a fire when he was a child he has these markings all over his body now and so people find him ugly um when jade is like uh i don't know what y'all seeing like that man is a big snack okay <laughs> and so uh yeah we have these two people having to live together be married together but they're complete strangers so i love this one a lot and then this one is like grumpy sunshine where the heroine is a grump and the hero is a sunshine he's a space pirate I love that one. I read all the books in the series besides the last one about Sick Band. I have not read that one yet. Um, but I love so many of the books in this series. I feel like it's really, really good starter series or if you just love alien romances in general or eight series uh, but these two are definitely my favorite out of the bunch if you want a cute series that is really fun okay i have the seven brides for seven alien brothers series i know that's a tongue twister by honey phillips this series was inspired by seven brides for seven alien brothers obviously first one is our tech this takes place on a different planet where there is like a human settlement a human village and um our tech and his band of brothers in arms end up purchasing a ranch like a few miles away from the human village and they are like alien creatures they all look different okay our tech ends up meeting the daughter to a shop owner in the human village while he's getting supplies and he just asks her to marry him because he wants a wife and they're strangers and they get married because she wants a different life she doesn't want to be known as like the shopkeeper's daughter for the rest of her life so that's how the first book is but it's vastly different than the other books in the series because book number two definitely sets up the whole entire series benjar is a chaotic pink alien dude okay um and he hears the heroine from book one i think her name's nelly tell the story to his men about like seven brides for seven alien brothers and they're like oh i guess we have to go kidnap some women then for them to be our wives because i want a wife so he sneaks off to the human village okay in the middle of the night and ends up kidnapping all these women for his brothers <laughs> during a snowstorm and so all the other books in the series are like forced proximity where benjar has kidnapped a wife for all of his brothers during a snowstorm so they can't even leave where he's taken them okay so i really enjoy the series it's actually really fun funny if you love like forced proximity short and sweet alien romances i definitely recommend this one uh, my favorite one is frantor I really, really, really enjoy that one. I do have a series I have not finished yet. This is the Kraken series by Tiffany Roberts. I've only read 
I think the first two books if I'm not mistaken and there are seven of them. I know I need to finish. They just got new covers that are absolutely stunning by the way. Like I love them, okay? Um, so if you want like Kraken romances, this is the way to go. The first book in the series, our heroine lives on this different planet where humans have settled and she goes out on this boat with a guy she's been seeing kind of like reluctantly. She doesn't really feel romantic feelings for him but she's with him for like family obligation you know what I mean and she has a feeling that this man is going to ask her to marry him on this boat but then the water becomes very rough and rocky the boat capsizes and she is saved by this kraken creature our hero who ends up taking her to an underwater cave where she is able to breathe and he ends up keeping her in this cave they end up learning each other's languages and they end up actually falling for each other like while he's kidnapped her. I really loved this. This was so fun. So all the other books in the series are about other alien Kraken creatures finding their human mates. I can't wait to read, I think it's book number three or book number four where the heroine is the Kraken because you don't really get romances where the woman is like the alien or the monster creature. Like I can't wait. Another Tiffany Roberts series that I do have to recommend is the Spider's Mate trilogy. I'm actually currently reading this. I just finished book number two. I read book number one like right when it came out years ago um, and I just now decided to continue on with the series now that all the audiobooks are out for all three books. So yeah, I've been snared. The second book is Enthralled and the third one is Bound. I'm going to be starting Bound within the next week or so. Each book in the series follows the same couple, which is Kate Catan and Ivy. This is actually a spider alien romance, okay? <laughs> so um, if you want more like the weirder alien romances, I definitely recommend Tiffany Roberts because they have like tentacle, kraken creatures, and then you have spider creatures, so. This takes place on a different planet, okay? It's the uh, planet that Catan is native to. There are these spider alien creatures. He's exploring the jungle that he lives in one day and he comes across this very broken down like withered away space pod. He doesn't know it's a space pod. They don't space travel in this planet. They don't know what's going on in that sphere. Okay um, but he ends up accidentally like clicking some buttons or something and Ivy pops out. Ivy is a human woman and she's been in cryosleep for like 160 years and she didn't know it. And he ends up taking her to his nest thinking that she's a pet but then he realizes quickly this is a woman, like this is not a pet. This is like a sentient being who like I can talk to. So it is a big language barrier. They don't know each other's languages, but then they learn them. They become like very close friends that turns into something more. Each book in the series is about them and their relationship. So I really enjoyed book number one and book number two. I can't wait to finish this series very soon with book number three. So if you want an alien romance series all about the same couple, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this series. I have another series I haven't completely finished yet. These next two I haven't completely finished yet, but I think it's okay. So um, this is the Severi Mate series by Elizabeth Stevens. Um, this is book number two, which is so far my favorite. I've read three books in this series. There are eight. I've read three of them. This one is my favorite. It's book number two. It's Taken to Nobu. The first one though is Taken to Varaxia. Each book in the series is about a human woman, sometimes not even human, because the first book in the series, she's a hybrid. So she's half alien, half human. Anyway, finding their mates, their love of their lives with alien creature guys. So the first one in the series, our heroine is that hybrid creature and she lives on this moon filled with humans. And the moon, orbits this planet called Braxia. And the king of the planet is like, why are a bunch of supplies being sent to this moon? Like there's nothing on the moon. So he goes to visit and he realizes some of his very trusted men have been lying to him and have been keeping these humans on this moon for years. And he had no idea. They have been abusing them, sexually assaulting them, like getting trying to get them pregnant, like without their consent. And so he's like, whoa, no, no, no. And then he realizes that he can sent his fated mate on this moon. And he's like, uh, where is she? So he goes down to find her, but she is terrified of these aliens because of all they've done to her and her people. So there's a lot going on in that one, but this one's my favorite. I can't really talk about this one. You have to read book number one to read this one, by the way. I feel like you need to read these books in order. And then book number three that I've read is a Naga creature one. So he's like the snake creature guy really fun. The last series that I have to mention, I've only read the first two books and there's four books. Um, this is the Planet of Desire series by Robin Lovett. This book series is so interesting. This book is like <laughs> really good. Humans and a certain alien species that is gold are at war with each other. Um, so this book starts out with um, these two fighting on a spaceship and um, they end up like fighting inside the space pod 
and um, the space pod launches into the nearest planet that they're orbiting on the spaceship and it's the planet of desire where there are certain toxins in the air and if you're not constantly doing something okay you will be in immense pain so these two sworn enemies have to use each other to travel along this planet to try and find their people um and they have to use each other to make sure that they don't like collapse from excruciating pain it's really good i really like this one uh, and then i have read book number two which is a uh widower one um and then i still have to read book number three and book number four and book number four i think the heroine is an alien creature on this planet which again that's a rarity so i can't wait to finish off the series but the first two were really great anyways there you have it those were 10 alien romance series that i love that i think everyone should pick up if y'all love alien romance or want to get in alien romance let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting anything else you can leave me obviously an alien related emoji in the comment section down below anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all